Hello everyone, Sinton Duck 2, and welcome to another Fabric Mod overview, this time on Jeff Azur's Hardstone Mod, a mod that adds a ton of new blocks, tools, armor, um, a bunch of potions, uh, a new biome, and probably a few other things that I'll try and get to. So, yeah, there's about five pages or so with how I got Aria scaled here, tons of gems. Um, and yeah, so you can see all the different types of building variations uh, and types here. You've got hard stone, nice stone, which I did struggle to notice the difference between at first, but it is a bit more noticeable now. Um, nice bricks, bad stone, and bad bricks. So, hard stone is made with granite, andesite. Diorite and Obsidian. You can get bricks and otherwise colored variations with dyes like so, or in a stone cutter. Uh, you do have access to the others via cobble and the other stones, and bad is obviously made with nice and obsidian. And then everything else from here on out is pretty much just mixing and matching different coloured blocks with the corresponding stone and dyes. So that's pretty much what they look like. As you can see with the standard stone brick variations um, and stairs and slabs. Other than that, it adds a ton of tools and armour. Uh, which pretty much just match the corresponding gems that fit the dye colour as well as beer gems. Beer gems, as far as I know, are part of a ore that I can't seem to actually get in creative. I can only find it in the underground like so. And I'll show you what I mean by that, is that by the fact I can't get in creative is I can't middle click it at all, so I have no idea what it is. Um, I tried looking even in the give commands, I have no clue what it is, so I can't really tell you that, um, but it does generate beer gems, which you can then use for potions, and the different coloured gems that you can use for each type of tool, depending on which one you make, based on the die you're providing. Um, other than that, I don't know about fortune on these and if that works but we'll try real quick all the way around and so we'll go with what we have cheated and otherwise it doesn't seem to so it doesn't apply with fortune you can just find these in the world um, and you can just use them for a multitude of different things. The tools and potions. You can use for them the tools and armor. If I just go up a bit and spectator, we can see the different types. Um, they all pretty much have the same attack damage and durability, as far as I know. Um, and they're pretty much just like you would expect with certain gem ores um, to just have different color variations. Um, so, yeah. I mean, there is a few that have different uh, durability, but it's not too noticeable at first. Um, and the tools mostly don't have any differences other than just being different colors for the most part. Other than that, um, let's see, do you have the potions, which pretty much as far as the mod page describes is useful if you have leftover potions that were um, mistaken, so say if you accidentally made something like a thick potion or a mundane potion or something, you could then use those um, to make these instead. Um, to succeed at actually making successful potions with certain effects. So you just need a potion, uh, just ignore the uncraftable since it just means any, pretty much, and then use beer gems 
After that, and you get a Pasha's beer, I think I'm pronouncing that right, and if you make a Dukas, or something like that, or Dukas, I'm not sure, um, with 8 instead of the 4, then you would obviously get access to that. Now, obviously you can see that you can stack 4 with the first one, and 8 with the second, and when you use this one, which gives the sound effect, as well as applies the potion effect, whilst the other will potion effect but also give you some hunger in return. So definitely worthwhile doing that if you're unable to have any hunger, uh, sorry, food items on you, um, or you just want a potion effect along with hunger gaining um, as an option. Uh, other than that, there is a villager and biome that I have not come across yet, so I've got to cover these first um, before I miss those. Uh, there we go. I'm going to go on to creative just in case because we don't want to suffocate, depending on the height we end up being in. Um, so let's see. Castletown biome. I'm not too sure on that. Um, I'm assuming this is actually the biome and it's just that I'm thinking it's planes and a few other things in and only Castletown in name at the moment. Uh, we can't find the new biome at least. Uh, more. Uh, other than that, I'm not too sure. There is supposed to be a chance of another ore or something like that, I'm not too sure. Um, again, I've only been able to find certain things. Uh, custom ore most commonly found. So I'm assuming that will be that this one does become more abundant to find in this biome. Um, I'm not sure in terms of veins or otherwise, but still. Uh, other than that, there is a villager. It gives you access to villager tiers, which you can then use for the Gem of Sorrow to get the Misery Pickaxe or Scythe, which you can tell obviously has low durability here. Um, and I've just applied some enchantments over time. And you can also make the Scythe, which I think is for... Um, if I can spell that. It expands on the villager tier and beer gems. Um, can be used as a weapon, as well as a farming instrument. I'm not sure how to do that exactly, because um, I've tried right-clicking and doing a bunch of other bits and pieces and no luck. Um, in terms of enchantments though, there is apparently the new ones, which I will try to get to in probably a part two, for example, um, of possibilities. There is a fair amount I still have to work out with this yet. Um, other than that, you've got the magic potato, which pretty much makes it so that you have poisonous potatoes being used um, rather than just being useless. Um, which will apply hunger to ourselves for. See the scythe is fairly big, so gotta be careful of that. Yes, thank you. By the way, gives you pretty much about the same as a potato, but obviously makes it so that the uh, poisonous ones are being useless, just sitting in chests randomly. Uh, in part two, I'll try and cover the enchantments, um, possibly the new villager, and a few other things that I can come across based on what's detailed on the web page. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.